Hi everyone, my name is Akshay and you're watching Tech Binder. So here comes the second video of how to build a quadcopter. This is part 2 and here I'm going to explain you about brushless DC motor. So I'm going to tell you everything that you need to require for making a quadcopter and how you can choose your motor for your quadcopter. And also if you've not watched my previous video about the introduction part and how to build a quadcopter, what type of quadcopters are available please go and check the video the links will be in the description and also on the card go and check it out so in this video i'm going to explain you about brushless dc motor and about the propellers so before choosing the type of motors you need to ensure the weight of your quadcopter for these type of quadcopters the maximum weight can go from 1 kg to 1.2 kg that I am sure. So there is a thumb and rule in the case of choosing the motor. The thrust generated by the brushless DC motor should be twice the weight of your quadcopter. So the specification about these motors will be written on a sheet when you purchase these. And if it is not written, I am sure that I have tested they can generate 500 gram of thrust. The total we are using 4 motors so it is equal to 2 kg. So that is sufficient for these type of quadcopters. But if you want to make a racing quadcopter, the thrust to weight ratio are quite higher and it can reach up to 8 is to 1. That is the thrust provided by the motor should be 8 times that is the weight of quadcopter. So I am going to make it sure that these are the best pretty one. And now let's talk about the rating of these motors. So here you will find that A2212, this is the size of the motor and here it is written 1000 kb. So 1000 kb can be read as a not a 1000 kV. But it's a number of revolution it is gonna make in one minute so this is the specification of this motor so if you are using a 3s lipo battery which i'm gonna discuss in lipo battery section video just for a general conversion i'm gonna tell you about a 3s lipo battery is having 12.6 volt charge so take it as a 12 volt so for 12 volt it's having 1000 volt per revolution you can do the calculation it's 12,000 rpm so at maximum throttle and using a 12 volt battery you can get 12,000 rpm from this motor and if you want you can use higher motors there are other specifications motors ranging from 1200, 1400, 16, 1800, 1500, 2000 and it can go up to 2800 for what I know it can be even larger but these high rating motors are not required if you are choosing the quadcopter which I am telling you you need a motor of at least 1000 kb minimum you can go for 1200 and even 1400 will be sufficient for this purpose. Now choosing the propeller. So I have done a lot of research and here I am going to tell you how you can choose the propeller. So at the propeller you can find here it's written 10 into 4.5 R. I hope you can pretty much see that in your propeller. So the, these are the ratings for the propeller and for every propeller the rating will be written here. 10 refers in terms of inches. So this is a diameter of the propeller. So here we are having a 10 inch propeller and the second one is known as pitch that is 4.5. So 4.5 pitch means that the distance it gonna cover in 360 degree revolution. So in one revolution how much distance is gonna move forward is known as pitch. So it's a 4.5 inch. So I'm gonna tell you there's a rule for choosing your propeller and for the pitch. The rule is that if you are using a thousand kb motor you are required to use a 10 inch propeller or a 8 inch propeller i would recommend you to use the 10 inch propeller rather than 8 inch propeller why i would do is that if you are having a propeller with smaller pitch it is gonna give you a lot of thrust but the acceleration will be a uh, quite less but if you want to use a propeller with higher pitch you need to use a motor with higher specification that is around 2000 to 2300 and the propeller size will be 5.5 inch and the size of the propeller will be lower and the pitch will be higher but for your concern we need not to go over the technicality for choosing the propeller and choosing the motor i would recommend you to use 1000 kb or 1200 or maximum you can use 1400 kb and a 10 inch propeller is recommended you can even go for 8 inch propeller that is up to your choice. You cannot find a single propeller. This comes in pair, one for clockwise and one for counterclockwise. These are the steps to select your propeller and how do you are gonna select your motor. So here comes the summary of this video. The thrust generated by motor should be at least twice the weight of the quadcopter. The size of the propeller should be a 10 inch or 8 inch for a 
1000, 1200 or 1400 kV. If you are using a smaller drone, you can use higher specification, higher specified motors that is 23 inch and a smaller propeller for a better accuracy and for better flight control. A lower pitch will generate more thrust and less acceleration. A higher pitch will generate more acceleration and less thrust. So keep these things in mind before choosing the motor. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the ESC and how I'm going to choose the ESC. And also, if you have not subscribed my channel till yet, it's highly recommended to subscribe the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you can receive latest video notification whenever I upload new videos about quadcopter or some other unboxing video. So I hope I made the concept clear about the brushless DC motors. But if still you are facing doubts, feel free to comment in the comment section below and I will get up to you. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day. This is Akshay signing off. I'll catch you in the next video. If you have not subscribed the channel, click on the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon to receive latest video updates. Also, you can like us on Facebook and Twitter. Feel free to like us here also. Thank you.